at Coburg University. In the world of theories, there are many different ways in which people communicate. This is just an example of one of them. The Uncertainty Reduction Theory of Charles Berger. Let's watch as these two young people meet and through the use of the eight axioms, get to know and like each other. So I just started on that paper for Tom Fury yet. I'm procrastinating it so much. Oh no, I totally forgot about it. What did you do? Well, oh, I... this little hike over there on the light test. Check him out. Oh, that guy in the red shirt? Yeah, he's in my biology class. His name's Ben. Oh, he's actually my lab partner. Can you tell can you check if you're working out? Mimi, just look. Looking at me? I want to take a second look. Just look. <laughs> He's seriously my favorite guy. I have to come back to my every class. Just check him out. He's very good Fine, I'll come. Axiom number one, verbal communication. Mimi and Ben have just met and are making polite small talk. Let's keep watching and see where this goes. It was nice to meet you, Ben. Yeah, it was really nice to meet you, too. Shot up there, baby. That's a shot. You know what time it is. Let's go. Hey, man, I'm coming. Just give me one second, all right? One second, that's what you said last time. So I should probably get back to you, baby. But if you want to stick around and watch, you can probably talk afterwards or something. Perfect. Okay. See you later. Watch it. This was a prime example of axiom number two, nonverbal communication. Mimi and Ben are sharing nonverbal cues together. With little head nods and body language, these two are communicating how they feel towards each other. Whatever will happen next. Yeah, it's pretty loud in here. Do you want to go somewhere a little more quiet so we can talk? Alright, let's go. That was a good game, from what I saw of it, anyways. Yeah, I think so. I don't play basketball. You should go pro. I don't think I'm that good. It's definitely not in my future. Oh, really? What is? Well, I'm majoring in exercise science and possibly minoring in lifeguard, actually, as a lifeguard, actually. But, I don't know. Cool, I majored in space with a minor in flirting with hotties. <laughs> wow, I like your sense of humor. So what year are you? I'm a junior. Junior? Me too, actually. Excellent. Where are you from? Well, I'm from La Crosse originally, so not too far from here. Good, I'm from the cities. All right, I've been up there a few times for a basketball, a couple basketball tournaments. Wow, that's really exciting to be in Raleigh. Yeah, is it? Yeah. <laughs> God, your sense of humor is awesome. Hey, thanks. Um, so what are you doing this weekend? Do you want to come to a party, maybe? I'd love to. Awesome. Well, you can definitely invite Janelle, too. Oh, yeah. Janelle's um, so in. Yeah. Put your number in my phone. Oh, my goodness. That looks like axiom number three, information seeking. Those two shared a lot of new information about each other, but they are still hesitant. They are both uncertain about each other, but very interested in learning more. Oh, I think this is the house. He said it'd be pretty important. Yeah, I think this is it, though. Let's go in. <gasps> Wait, I'm, I'm just kind of nervous, though. It's okay, Mimi. Don't worry.
guys. How are you? How did you get it? So glad you guys can make it. It's so cute. What's his name? His name's Tucker. You're so cute. Oh, it's freezing. I'm gonna go in. Alright, make yourself at home. You wanna sit down and chit chat a little bit? Totally. Let's do it. I would love to. Oh, Tucker's so cute. He reminds me of my dog. You had a dog? Yeah, I had one. Her name was Cupcake. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, you can definitely come over whenever you want to play with Tucker. Oh, please. I'll take you up on that. Yeah, my mom got him for me, actually. I love my mom so much. Really? I didn't think you came up as a mama's boy. Yeah, I mean, kind of. Look at that. Axiom number four, self-disclosure. They have waited until this very moment when they feel like they know each other a bit more to express deeper attitudes and feelings. Where it's so cold out here. I know. Do you want to go outside and maybe get something to drink? Sure. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Come on, Tucker. Hey, guys. This is Mimi. Hi, Mimi. <laughs> Well, we're gonna run into the kitchen and grab a drink, alright? Alrighty. So you said you're thirsty. Let's see what I got in the fridge. I have water and apple juice. Sorry, we're kind of broke. Oh, it's okay. I love apple juice. It's my favorite drink. Oh, that's weird. It's my ex-girlfriend's favorite drink, too. Oh, that's so strange. Oh, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, we didn't really have a lot in common. I mean, besides apple juice, I guess. <laughs> she wasn't exactly faithful either. Oh, Ben, I'm so sorry. Nobody deserves to be treated that way. Uh, of course, my boyfriend wasn't the greatest either. He, we never really spent time together. Oh, I love spending time with you, me. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm so glad I met you. Oh, me too. Oh, hello there. This was a good example of axiom number five, reciprocity. He told her about his ex-girlfriend, and so she volunteered to tell him about her ex-boyfriend. Mimi didn't want Ben to feel uncomfortable sharing personal information, so she did the same. I'd say their relationship is progressing nicely. Hey guys, how's it going? Hi, Janelle. What's up, Janelle? You guys have been alone for a while. Yeah, we're just talking. Getting to know each other a little better. Alright, well, have fun! What are you doing with my apple juice? Hey, I'm thirsty too! Janelle! So, I remember you were saying you're an astronomy major. Uh, I took a little astronomy in high school, but never got into it in college. Oh, really? That's cool. I mean, I like my major. But I even have a telescope. And if you want to, we can go with stargazing together sometime. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. It's a date. Perfect! I love this song. Oh my god, me too. It's like my favorite. Michael Jackson is my favorite. Ah, cool. I could totally show you how to do the Thriller dance sometime. You have to! I love it. That's crazy. We have so much in common, Mimi. We really do, Hmm. Well... I'd be lying if I didn't tell you that what you just witnessed was axiom number six, similarity. The more similarities you have, the less uncertain you feel. <laughs> my oh my, they sure have a lot in common. Hey, Mimi, you ready to go? Yeah. Okay, I'll be up there. Okay, I'll be I'm really glad I got the chance to get to know you, Mimi. I really like you. I really like you too, Ben. Well, I guess I have to go. But it was fun, and I hope I get to see you again. I can't wait. Yeah, good night, Mimi. That party was so much fun, Janelle! Yeah, are you two dating yet? No, but we just talked a lot, and we have a lot in common. Did you know that he likes Michael Jackson just about as much as me? Oh my gosh, I didn't know anyone could like Michael Jackson as much as you. Oh, shut up, <laughs> Janelle. I don't know, I really like him. We seem to have good vibes. Yeah? Lots in common? Mm -hmm. Definitely. I just like him a lot, and I can't wait to see him again. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> oh, hello again. Well, this relationship.
relationship is going in a good direction, they seem to have reached axiom number seven, liking. The more you find out about a person, the more you appreciate who they are. Ben and Mimi are really enjoying their time together and liking each other more as their uncertainty is reduced. A text from Ben! Hey Mimi, I know we hung out last night, but I can't wait to see you again. If you're up for it, we should come over, you should come over today and watch the football game with me. Some of my friends will be there too, if you don't mind. Hmm, he wants me to meet his friends. Oh my god, he could go. Oh, 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 all the way. Oh, oh. All the way. Touchdown! Yeah! relationship is really going to work out based on the eight axioms. Thanks for watching this production of the Uncertainty Reduction Theory. I hope you have learned a lot about how relationships progress when people are getting to know each other. Be sure to tune in next time when the Ruby Studded Cobra Productions present the Elaboration Likelihood Model. Good night everyone!